Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Well, in last week's Modern Media segment, we looked at TV, a media channel that has been in existence for decades. But this week, we'll be looking at a relatively new medium, the role of content creators and their use of social media platforms. The collaborations agency matches businesses with relevant content creators to market their products and services. But how does the role of the content creator work and how effective can it be for a business? Lynn Hunter is the founder of the Collaborations Agency and she joins us now to provide us with an unfiltered insight into the business. Lynn, start by providing us with an insight into your own background and where the idea came from to start the Collaborations Agency. Well, I have been in the business a very long time. So I started off in marketing side. I started off brand side. And then for my sins, I went agency side and I opened um, my first agency, Hunter Communications, uh, over 13 years ago. And I have been working with brands for a long, long time. And I've always worked with uh, bloggers, as they would have been called back in the day. Uh, I was a account director on Buyerstorf, which is Nivea, Nivea for Men. And uh, we always use bloggers to write reviews uh, for our different products. So it was always there. Um, it, obviously, it's completely changed now with the birth of TikTok and also the birth of Instagram. Um, so it's changed slightly. So I always sort of saw a gap in the market. More and more people were starting to create content. So I really saw a gap in the market for an agency that joined the dots between brands and content creators. So how does the collaborations agency actually work? Well, we represent over uh, 125 content creators. We have a very diverse roster um, from sporting to comedians, fashion, lifestyle, um, you know, from all genres and, 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 and walks of life. And we uh, have a lot of clients from media buying agencies um, to brands directly to PR agencies. And we pitch out campaigns and concepts to brands for content creators, but also we will receive briefs from agencies itself. And I suppose it's our job to align the right content creator with the right brand. Uh, you know, we've seen time and time again when, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't work for brands and it, and it doesn't make sense. Consumers aren't stupid. So it has to be a collaborative approach and always the best content that we find that works well is when a brand understands the content creator and what they're about. You know, I will say time and time again, content creators know their audience and you need to trust the content creator for how to bring that messaging alive. And how do you go about identifying emerging digital trends? Well, I suppose really we have our finger on the pulse. You know, I, uh, myself and the team, you know, we look, beyond, you know, from a global scale, we're constantly traveling. We're constantly keeping up to date uh, with any tech um, conferences that are going on. We work very closely with Meta, with TikTok. We work very closely with Google. Uh, you know, we attend all their conferences. And really, I suppose it's a lot of research that goes through it. But really, I suppose we've always got our finger on the pulse if for that area and seeing what future trends are coming down the line. Also, because we work very closely in the FMCG area, we work really, I suppose, food would be a huge area for us. We're always looking about what's, what's going to be hot for the coming year, you know, what is, what is going to be coming down the line from a drinks brand point of view, from a food. And also the explosion of TikTok. You know, there's so much content that is coming through. You know, gravy, Christmas sandwiches had a huge moment. Tequila is going to be massive this year uh, from a drinks brand point of view. Um, you know, non-alcoholic products are going to be huge. So really, I suppose it's our job to keep our finger on the pulse. And in terms of developing the panel of content creators that you work with, what qualities do you look for? It's actually a really interesting question. I suppose it really is the secret sauce. I've been doing this a really long time. So I'm quite good at spotting talent. Um, I'm sure your your listeners will be very familiar with Board of Lunch. Nathan Anthony, he's on his third bestseller book. When we signed Nathan, he had uh, 35,000 followers. And I really saw that, I suppose for us, we always look at reach, relevance, and does it resonate with their audience? And if you've built a community and you can see from that engagement um, and also the percentage of engagement, if people are really into it. And also, I always look for if somebody has use and joy, use 
Am I learning something? Is it teaching me something? Is it teaching me a recipe? Am I learning gardening tricks? Is there an interior design? Am I, you know, learning, you know, a, a, from a sporting a sporting point of view? Am I, you know, definitely with somebody like Lee Chin? Is he teaching me something about training? And then joy, is it making me smile? Is it making me laugh? And, you know, I suppose they're really key components that we look at. So there's a little bit of science behind it. And really, I suppose it's it's due diligence on our part, our part to really sort of analyze their stats and insights and really see the potential growth. So that's really, again, what myself and the team really look at when we're looking to find somebody. And Lynn, are you working with many celebrities? <laughs> Everybody's a celebrity. <laughs> um, and no, of course we are. Um, you know, we work with a lot of really interesting people. You know, some of our guys have done Dancing with the Stars. They've got their own TV shows. Uh, you know, we just did a whole sell- sellout gig in Vicker Street with our entire talent. Um, we did an event called Christmas Cracker. I'm sure your listeners are very familiar with Garen Music, um, who really has exploded last year. So a lot of our guys would be on radio, TV, journalists in, in print, but also be uh, very successful authors as well. And in recent years, influencer marketing or the use of content creators has witnessed significant growth. But what results can it deliver? Oh, like if, if you think about it, like I mean, I'd be afraid to see how much screen time I have on my phone. But, you know, people are spending up to eight hours a day on their phone. So if you can imagine, that's where your audience is. So, you know, from a brand or from a retailer, they can people can swipe up an instant purchase. So you can nearly track the rate of sales. So from a brand perspective, it creates brand awareness. It can create sales and it gets people talking and your whole brand can blow up, especially for a platform like TikTok. You know, you can go from zero to hero within 48 hours. So massive potential for a brand. And also it's really, really, really interesting for your listeners if they have a small to medium to large business. You know, dip your toe in and it's all about brand building and it's all about personal branding as well. So, you know, just put yourself out there and some things will work and some things won't. There's been so many case studies of fantastic small businesses uh, that have really grown due to uh, TikTok and Instagram. So it's amazing. You know, people can be entrepreneurs with their phone. It's, It's phenomenal. And talk to us about the type of brands that typically engage the services of content creators. It can range from, you know, from tech to fashion to lifestyle to sporting, you know, absolutely everything. You know, we work with Kerry Gold, we work with McDonald's Curry Sauce, we work with Clonic Kilty, we work with Dyson, we work with Tato, you know, we work with a lot of FMCG brands, but we also work with Samsung, Dyson, you know, like we work with massive retailers from Kildare Village to Arnott's to Brown Thomas to, you know, all, a lot of Irish brands as well. And, you know, Diageo, we work with, you know, an awful lot of brands. So it really brings, I suppose, again, going back to what I was saying at the start, it brings, you know, the brand's personality, it marries it with the content creator. And, you know, people want authenticity. They don't want perfection. So that's why, you know, from a usage point of view, it's, it really showcases the brand in a very authentic way. So what does the matchmaking process look like between the brand and the creator? Well, that's, that's where I come in. <laughs> uh, so again, it, it comes back to reach relevance and does it resonate with their audience? So for starters, you know, if a brand comes to us with a brief, we will um, look at it. You know, for example, is it a nationwide campaign? Um, you know, does Northern Ireland included in that? So, you know, we look at, uh, we would have suggestions. It, it really depends on the objective and what the key messaging is for their brand and what the, what their requirements are. So we'll actually, it, there's a little bit of science to it, so we'll actually review um, the content creator's stats and insights, their location, uh, you know, their male-female uh, ratio, what platform would it work best on, and then we will bring our suggestions to the brand, and then we will get the concepts, we will work on the concept with the content creator and the brand, and then we'll make the magic happen. And in terms of campaigns themselves, are they usually short-lived? Depends. Like, I mean, usually I always, I, I'm a big believer in long-term collaborations with, with content creators because you're really bringing the brand on their journey and, you know, it's repeat um, content, but also people resonate 
oh, that brand, oh, they're working with them. You know, I always say to my clients, I always feel that it's better for a long term uh, campaign. Like, I mean, look at Peter Amani. He works with Woody's and, you know, it's, a, you know, you, you know that because he's he's really into gardening, for example. Um you know, some of our guys are working with Kerry Girls, but we did four pieces of content each to launch their new 100 gram new uh, butter stick. And, you know, we did lots of different uh, recipes running up to Christmas. So you really sort of showcased the benefits of using the 100 gram butter stick in lots of different recipes from savory to sweet. And um, again, Clonakilty to use as an example, you know, we work with a lot of uh, really great content creators on a long term basis that they utilize, you know, they showcase the versatility of Clonakilty. It really sort of brings the audience on the journey with the brand and it just makes sense. Of course, there's a large range of social media platforms out there today. Yeah. You continually mention TikTok. Is that the number one platform that your content creators and brands are using today? I wouldn't say it's the number one, but it is a massive juggernaut that's not going anywhere. I suppose it's because people, brands are really starting to sort of dip their toe into this area. It's a new area for them, whereas Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, you know, Threads is a new platform that's got a whole new it, LinkedIn is hugely important. Using your DMs on your uh, Instagram is massive, massive, massive opportunity in that. YouTube Shorts is a massive opportunity. YouTube itself is a massive opportunity. But I suppose TikTok are going to be rewarding um, content creators who are use family-friendly content, long-form content like what they use, like what uh, YouTube did and also more creative content. So definitely, I think it's really important to see the needs and wants of a brand. And then we ensure that the content creators are using the right platforms to get the message out. And of course, influencer marketing and collaborative partnerships are still in their infancy for many small businesses. But how do you expect this to develop in the future? Oh, it's not going anywhere. You know, I mean, it's just changing constantly. And I suppose more and more brands are seeing a return on investment, which is hugely important. So, you know, as I said, you know, you could go from nobody knowing about your brand to an overnight sensation within 48 hours, you know, if you put out the right content. So it's, 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 it's evolving, it's changing, and that's why, you know, it is I suppose, interesting to work slide, alongside agencies who really understand and, and, you know, can help guide you. So it's not going anywhere. I can, I can tell you that much. If, if anything, platforms are evolving and changing then you know, it's it's exciting times. It's it's you know, it's a great industry to be in. It's an exciting industry and you know, it's it's changing all the time. And I suppose because it is so new, there's probably still lots of small business owners that don't feel they're ready to take the risk on this type of marketing yet. What advice have you got for them in that respect? Yeah, I, I will say, do you know what? You need to put yourself out there. I know it might you, you, you might find it cringe or embarrassing, but it's your business and no one's coming for you. No one's going to do it for you. You need to put yourself out there. And do you know what? The great thing about social media now, it's not polished. It doesn't have to be super polished. You just need to be yourself. And Irish people are amazing. We've got a great sense of humour and we're great talkers. So, you know, and isn't it brilliant that you can use this little phone to talk about your business and talk it up? So put yourself out there and you'd be amazed what you get back. And, you know, if you're not getting anything at the start, just keep trying. Just consistency is key. Just post once a day, post once a week, but just keep trying. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Lynn Hunter from the Collaborations Agency. And it's clear from Lynn's insights that content creators are utilising a form of media that is here to stay. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick.